Yo, Google sucks. Dude, I would never want to work for Google. Yeah, no, it's it's a good company. Why don't you apply to one of the big companies? Google, blah, 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 blah. Dude, because I'm not a tryhard. People in computer science are straight up like down to have sex with like these company logos, dude. Like, yo, I don't know what you think is going to happen when you work at Facebook and Google, dude. But guess what? You get a, here, here's the, here's the upside. Your resume, you get that on your resume. You good. You're good, dude. You don't have, when you apply somewhere, you're getting an interview. Another thing, you're banking, dude. You're making money. You're paying your loans off if you have those. If you don't, whatever. You are chiching rich. Maybe not rich, but like, you know, you got you got good money. Like, I, I mean, I think you can get like 175K out of college now or whatever. So you're making good money. Now, besides that though, why is there this beehive mentality, hive mentality of all these people are like, you're, I, I'm going to Goldman Sachs this summer. Oh, yeah. And everyone's one up in each other, more competitive. Oh, yeah. Well, I got an internship at Facebook. Dude, nobody actually cares. I hate any kid. It, okay, if you're nice, I guess it's about the way you say it. Like, if you've been working on it for a long, trying to get into one of those companies for a long time, and then you're like, oh my God, I finally got in. That's amazing. But if you're like out here bragging about your internships and jobs, dude, like, yeah. Hmm. So competitive, dude. Com- competitive. I mean, competition makes you get better at stuff, but, um, like, dude. Who cares? Who cares? Nobody. Nobody actually cares. Like, you work for Google and your parents can brag about it. And, um, but like, yo, you're probably, probably working a lot of hours and your social life probably kind of sucks, to be honest. That's why I don't want to work at those companies. You think I can't work at those companies, dude? You think, this kid is so dumb. He doesn't even get into Google. He doesn't work, oh, he doesn't work at Google? Dumb. That's how some people actually think. Like the freaking, that's how they train you to freaking think in the, in like CS in college and uh, whatever. You have to be the best or you're the worst. You have to be the best. Like, no, dude. You can have a job and not make two, you know, you can make 100K, not 200K. You could do, you know, have a balanced life. The work hours are less at some of these, you know, look around locally. There's probably really good software engineering jobs. And, uh, you know, you could get like a pretty good job, hang out, get, I'm happy right now, dude. I'm doing my work. Um, I like the people and yeah, it's super nice. And I don't get stressed out. And um, dude, if I worked at like Facebook or whatever, dude, I would be so, freaking stressed especially the even the people dude that work at those companies i talk i mean some of these people some of the people are cool but so i got some of the you people that work at those companies in my discord or i've talked to you guys and um you know dude like so serious these people are so serious and it's like all they want to talk about is like coding and like talk about how smart they are on crap and it's like dude how about in the, how about we make some jokes or something, man? I've brought this up a few times on my um, channel before, but I just want to tell you guys that if you're in surrounded by these CS people and you're thinking of looking to get your first job and you're working towards these like super high goals, like these best the best companies, it's not gonna. It's not that much of a difference working at those companies. The difference is more money, more hours, probably more hard work, more money, which makes sense. But um, 
I mean, you get that resume thing, so it could be good to work there for a bit. But um, I mean, my resume is fine. You could build up your own resume on your on your own, and um, other companies, dude. I just think are it's you could find such a such a chill job. The balance, I, I what? Okay, the whole advice I'm really trying to say is find the balance, right? If you're um, getting too stressed out by preparing for these or by the workload to get into these companies, um, and you're getting up depressed or it's too much work for you. Don't worry. You don't have to get into these companies. Like, you, there's plenty of good jobs um, that make a lot of good money, and that's what I had to come to terms with on my own. I was spending. I spent a few years um, really working so hard to get into these companies, um, like coding ten hours a day, and uh, I was like getting a lot of stuff done. But I definitely distanced myself from a lot of my normal friends who don't code. They don't want to be hanging out with a psycho serious person who's, you know, only trying coding all day, every day. And, um, yeah, you have to like sacrifice a lot of your social life. I, I feel like to be the best. So those are like the best companies. So to get to the best, you gotta, I mean, some people are just like natural geniuses. I've met really good, like cool people that are good at that balance and stuff. But you got to sacrifice a lot, I feel like, to um, be the best. And what I'm saying is, you don't have to be the best. You can go through college and not and get a good job still. And relax. And have a good life. And have friends. And not be going crazy. And not do 500 leak code problems. Because there are uh, plenty of other, um, you know, jobs that uh, are just still good. And... You know, you don't have to do fang. You don't have to do fang, dude. And that took me a lo- that took me a long time to realize, just because of how how they kind of teach you to think, or just how people think. All the CS people in certain areas, especially, they are all about prestige, all about being smart, and uh, it's pretty lame, dude. So if that's you, stop being so lame. Don't judge people. Oh, like, freaking, I hate people that judge people, dude. Don't judge people, dude. This The CS people, like, judge people, dude. Like, they, the freaking, a lot of CS people, like, oh, you didn't get an A in that class, dude? Freaking, like, dude. You don't need, some people don't want to get an A in that class. Some people don't want to work at Google. Some people don't want to code all day, dude. Some people just want to chill. So don't judge people for what they want to do. Now, if you can balance like your life and have friends and have like a healthy lifestyle and no stress and everything's fine and you love working on coding and doing it 10 hours a day and you're happy, I mean, go for it then, you know, that sounds like a perfect job for you, right? But for me, when I was doing it like 10 hours a day, I was losing my friends, you know, no one wants to hang out and nobody codes. So what am I going to go code in a room with them? Um... And, uh, so if I got, you know, I could have gone to, I could go to Fang and i I'd be working so much harder right now and have no friends and be depressed, or I could work a regular job and be comfortable and not stressed and work regular and make okay money pretty good. And, um, and then hang out with my friends and not be obsessive coding, you know? So... You don't have to be the best. You just have to try, you know, try your best and maintain that balance because being happy, I think, is more important than being successful. You know, this, it's not all about success, guys. It's about being a good person. Build relationships, friends with friends and family and make other people happy, you know, and, um, That's all I wanted to say. So that's why I don't give a damn about you, uh, Google. But, I mean, no, I'd be down to work there maybe in like a year for a little bit. But, um, you know, maybe I'll try it out or whatever. So so if you want to, you know, you can message me or whatever. But um, right now, I I really, even if they offer me a position, I would not. I'm good right now, you know. I don't want to work nonstop or whatever. And uh, you could have long hours at those places, so. That's why I don't want to work at Fang. I think there's plenty of good jobs out there that you don't need that are amazing. So 
that's what I'm, I have a great one, and I'm happy, so, let me know if this resonates with you guys, um, let me know what you guys think, were the healthy balance between becoming successful and achieving these goals versus maintaining like a happy, uh, healthy lifestyle is, because I think that's really important to consider. Money isn't everything, you can be really rich and um, really lonely, so... And you can become a robot too, dude. Look at these freaking psychopaths that code so much that they talk like, hello, the, you know, freaking like robots. I'm not a good robot impressionist. Hello, I am a code programmer at Google. Thank you guys for watching. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Twitter. Join the Discord. Everyone's in the Discord talking. We got 1,300 or like 1,400 members preparing for the interviews. I got the algorithm videos coming. I got the study guide on my Patreon. I'm going to point this thing until it shuts off.